Hi, guys. Sorry about that. Delivery at the door there at a, a crucial point. I, I was so close to the end. So um, I think we were talking about uh, the gradient at this particular point here on this graph. Uh, we were just saying how um, at this point, if we're given the point one zero, we have a gradient of two. Um, we know that one zero is on the line. We know there's a gradient of two at that point. So we know that this point is good and we know it goes in this direction at that point. That is good. Now, um, beyond that, we have to make approximations because we don't necessarily know that this line goes through, say, for example, minus two, minus two. In fact, if you follow that gradient along, it seems to go very close to that. Likewise, we can't say that this particular line goes through, I don't know, minus two, two. In fact, it doesn't seem to be going in that direction at all. It's not going up here. So the best that we can do now is actually just follow the other lines, the other gradient lines, as best as we can. And, and that is all we can do here. Um, and that's what you'll be expected to do. You'll need to make sketches for curves when they give you a particular point. Now, this is a little bit rough. So, I mean, let's have a look at just taking this to give it a go because it really depends on where you start as to how obvious the line is. Now, you see, in this case, if you were here, perhaps going backwards, it's kind of easy to see that you're following that line and that you're going to just cut the other side of this. But this is kind of telling you to go in this direction as well. So this one is a little arrow, if you like, going this way here. So that's why it's fairly easy to follow that one round. And then it's difficult to know whether it's going that side or this side at this point here. You know, just try your best to complete that. I mean, maybe it actually goes through that point. They've given us the actual curve in this case. So, um, likewise, if you follow this one up, now I might not have gone through this point here. And if I hadn't done that, I might have gone and overshot the mark there and gone up like this. But you can see, hmm, maybe it's not obvious. You might have even gone all the way up here. But at some point, you can see you're kind of hitting one of these. So you've got to kind of follow the direction round in this case, and you're following the direction. You can see, oh, well, we've got this here. So you can kind of see that it's turning, and it's turning in this direction. And so you might have drawn it like this instead, and it might have gone down there, or it might have fell down here. But that would be tolerable in an exam situation. And to be honest, they'll probably choose um, one where it's fairly obvious that it funnels down a particular route. So this is a little bit of an inexact science when you're doing sketches of this situation, but um, you just have to do it as best as you can. If you let's just have a look at the second one, which they come up with. So um, they've come up with this point. They've chosen this one and said, look, this one goes higher at this point. Um, it's difficult to know whether or not it would have sort of just slipped up straight ahead there. But if you see a pattern in the the gradients which you've got, then try to follow the patterns which you have. Um, some of the questions ask you to do that. I think one part C asks you to do it. Use the slope field to sketch the solution curve that passes through two minus two. Um, and some questions ask you to identify which one is the slope field. Um, and in that case, you'll just substitute in numbers here, get out gradients at particular points. Um, okay. OK, guys, well, that's all I'm going to say for that. We'll obviously ask any questions you want to for 11M. Uh, sorry about this being split into two.